I am your host and commentator for this evening, Jihad the Devil Sullivan, joined alongside by E. My Knightley with Herbert. Uh, ignore him, folks. We're starting the show. Oh, wow. That, that, you take that as some background music? You need to fire whoever made that one. <laughs> And we should have a nice card for you this evening. Well, this, yeah. Yeah. And we're coming at you live from Arlington, Texas, down in my home country. First, we have Chuck Palumbo taking on Psycho Clown, a member of the FBI coming off an injury after his brutal match with uh, Brian Cage. Psycho Clown back in action. He just competed 24 hours ago at No Holds Barred in a losing effort to Juicy Thunder Diaper. <laughs> Juicy Thunder Locker, why, I mean. Why you, gotta, yeah, why you gotta disrespect a legend like that? Because he legendarily won the match. Right when you think Liger's done, he does it again. Out first comes Chuck Palumbo, whose entrance is going to be skipped. There's Palumbo on a motorcycle. Now he's in the ring. Great teleportation skills. And you hear the fans cheering for Psycho Clown, a big fan favorite not only here in Texas, in Mexico, FMW, this man is a veteran of the craft. Lucha Libre at its finest. So, Emai, uh -huh. who you got on this one? The Italian. Oh, I'm going with the clown. Pretty sure you would not want to be on the clown's bad side, so I'm going by I'm going with the clown. We got Chuck Palumbo. Palumbo likes to throw hands and throw suplexes. Ooh, Palumbo missing with a big flying clothesline. That would have did some damage. Psycho Clown with a throw over suplex. Going low, using that speed. Your Psycho Clown, you know how to use that speed. But Palumbo with a big sidewalk slam, and that'll shut you down. Yep. The clown getting back at it. Clown's trying to get some good quick strike offense, and the clown quite a bit of a striker. But Palumbo with a deep arm grab. Palumbo going for the pin. Face. The referee not counting. Well, ref says if I count the clown, uh, that's my own death wish. Smart ref, smart.
Actually, I think that match is busted. Have to restart that one. Psycho Clown with a beautiful running wheel kick. Colombo taking this fight to the outside. Big German by Palumbo. by count out by a count out seriously Palumbo using that barricade Palumbo doesn't care wins a win to him this isn't this isn't ammunition and the fans are definitely not happy about that We have a count out win here. Uh, the fans are not like that. And we're only seven minutes in. You know, for a hardcore show, we just saw our first count out win what you think about that Emi Colombo was clean But as the song used to say, that win that that win was clean. You know why? Why? Colombo heard it. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. <laughs> Motherfucker, I know some music. We got we're starting off this match with evil in the ring. Those entrances being cut down does cut some of the time out. And here comes the man that finally settled up. He's done. He, And now Evil hopping out. Evil going to try to do some bullet club tactics. Evil's running a marathon. Big brain buster.
Moscow anywhere match, I guess, because the rough is it's on the way, too. It's a hard False count anywhere, no disqualifications. Nope. Oh, we just countered. Yep, oh, never mind. Sarah Bellum. Sarah Bellum coming off a huge win over Nighthawk. Evil hoping to get some momentum here tonight. He's got to remove it. He's got the brain matter falling on the floor, man. I tell him to remove that. Cerebellum using those head butts. Evil is now busted open. Brain matter busting him open. Cerebellum now going for the brain shot. And that's it. Four minutes. Including the entrance. The king of corruption. Content in the who is also the king of the first blood. Continues to roll on that streak. And you know, Emi Drake, this is the kind of competitor he should be looking at. <clears throat> I mean, I know he's hard to look at because he's made completely a brain matter. <clears throat> but this man is one of, is the most dominant force on this brand. Yeah, what do I look like looking at some brain matter? Come on now. I mean, I get what you're saying, but you worded it wrong. And for that, dummy, yeah. Well, up next. Sarah Bellum's trying to make his way back to the top. He well, is, what match do we have next? We have a champion showcase. The IWGP United States Champion, the Death Rider, John Moxley, takes on the newly crowned Strong Corruption Strong Champion, uh, Jushin Thunder Liger. This will be a champion showcase match. Both of these men, two of the upper echelon of this brand, right up until one of them faces Cerebellum Assassin. Here we go, John Moxley versus Jushin Thunder Liger. And here's the Death Rider himself, John Moxley. Not to be confused with the paradigm. Now, who do you give this one to? Statistically speaking, Mox has the best has the advantage being the United States heavyweight champion. Uh, this one is this one's hard to call. I mean Moxley can hit that death rider any minute, but also the legend Juicin can also come back. So I don't know. I'm gonna let this one play out. And here he is, the fans are all cheering heavily for the return of a champion. 
This man was the former and original ultraviolet champion. And now he's the strong champion, which the, Indi the New Japan logo is on that belt. And that man is famous for New Japan. Thunder Liger, folks, the living legend, the greatest high flyer of all time. This man has been it, done it, been it, and had it all over the world. Moxley, very different, very hardcore deathmatch oriented, very strong. But there's the speed and the power combination of Jushin Thunder Liger. His strikes are quick. Moxley going to use that power and that smash mouth style. Liger, and there's Moxley with his Japanese style, that quick, that big kick. Trying to brawl and strike, but Jushin Thunder Liger, he's a striker. But don't get the man wrong, there's an old school, there's an old school atomic knee drop, or leg drop. Dropping that leg down on the mat, doing some damage. Moxley goes for the strike. There's a super kick to the abdomen. The rolling kick takes Moxley down. Jushin Thunder Liger right now has all the advantage. And then just a straight right hand to the face. That'll wake you up in the morning. Or in Moxley's case, that'll knock you down in the in the evening, in the night. Big high angle cross body, but Moxley moves out of the way, and now Moxley's got it just brawling. But there's the strike. Liger's gone to the top. Liger has the advantage in this match. Oh, my God. He missed it. You got to give it up for Liger, though. He is He's facing a tough opponent. But that damn John Moxley. He's giving it all he's got. I'm just not sure if it's going to be enough against Moxley. Moxley's tough. He's brutal. <laughs> Moxley, it's just all Moxley now. Can you actually say that you've seen a, Can you actually say this is not a good wrestling match? No, it is. Right now, Jusha Thunder Liger is in, is in control right now with the headlock. That, the headlock is one of the more devastating moves, simple and effective. Right. I watched Hiroshi Tanahashi in 2007. Control Kurt Angle, the Olympic triathlon wrestler, go toe to toe with with Tanahashi. Tanahashi was dominating the headlock. Liger, Liger. Beautiful fisting and suplex. Shooting star press by Liger. That'll do it. It's over? Liger's the winner, folks. Surprising. Liger survives. And Moxley does not hit the Death Rider. Wow.
the resiliency and toughness of a man that's been wrestling for over 40 years. Domination, deliverance, and execution. The strong champion beats the U.S. heavyweight champion. soaking in all the applause well up next we have the abandoned title in our sub main event it's just our sub main event the abandoned title was defended 24 hours ago in a loco lockdown between Ricky Mass and Earthquake Ricky Mass was able to throw Earthquake down and stomp on that Richter scale. And this is a TLC match, but what kind of TLC? Who's the opponent? It's the chairman, La Parca. Another legend. He could be the abandoned. He could be the abandoned champion after this one. La Parca, former ultra violent champion. This is a TLC match. As a luchador and a chair specialist, this match actually creates the advantage for La Parca. As you see Ricky Mass coming down, no title. Wow. Where's the championship at? Already hanging above the ring. This is a TLC match. Oh, yeah. This man just competed in a Hell in a Cell Loco lockdown 24 hours ago. Now has to defend his title in a TLC match. Such is the responsibility of the abandoned champion. Every night, random opponents, random match types. momentum like this, deadlift, sit out power bomb. It's going to get one-sided real fast. Collegiate takedown by La Parca. Mm, La Parca. 
putting in that work right now. But the power of Ricky Mass compels him. And the Parka throwing Ricky Mass into the stairs, using that agility. From behind, reverse choke slam to La Parca. And there's the Uranagi. Another sit out power bomb by La by this big monster. Yep. The Parker needs to build some offense in this match, man. But Ricky Mass, he, he's just he's just too huge for one and too powerful. Some highlights. There's that choke slam we saw earlier. Then there's that Man. big jackknife style power bomb. Man. And Ricky Mass was able to pull down the belt. Emi Drake as a, as a fellow C4 champ as the C4 champion being equal to this man. I'm sure if Emi Drake well I'm sure if Emi Drake was watching, he'd be like, that was an impressive win. That was an impressive win, dummy, but just don't put me in the match with him.
Up put next. him in a match with that idiot, Cameron Grimes, and we'll see if he can take him to the moon. You need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop. Up next, we oh. have we have the Phoenix Queen's title on the line. Originally, this was supposed to be Manami Toyota's rematch. But, Manami Toyota is unable to get, get her rematch due to an injury. Yes, she is injured. So, taking her place is Akane Yamamoto. Miss Fear versus Akane Yamamoto for in the, the championship. In the main event, nonetheless. Here comes Akane Yamamoto. Now I gotta ask, who do you give this match to? Because these are two buzzsaws right here. This is a chainsaw versus a buzzsaw. Emai? I, give, I don't know. Again, this is a match where you cannot call the right winner just now. You have to let the match play out and see who comes out on top. Miss Fear and Akame Yomamoto, both very strong women in this division. And there's a huge but, contrast of styles. Akame Yomamoto with that martial arts style some suplexes, but her opponent, the champion. Here comes Miss Fear. This, this woman is a powerhouse suplexing monster. Miss Fear is a grappler. She's a brawler. Akane Yamamoto is a striker. Technical base, very two different, very different styles. That is also true, but once Miss Fear gets you in that screwdriver, it's over for you. The same can be said about Akane's roundhouse kick. Once Akane hits that first roundhouse, she hits that snapmare roundhouse. She also calls it the log cutter kick. Because rumor has it in Japan that woman can kick a can actually cut through a log with her kicks. Miss Fear. There's mixed reactions to both of these women, but these are two of the most dominant forces in FMW. And the title is that on is the line. Look at that beautiful women's belt. Akane running in and Akane with a big running super kick. Akane using that speed, using those strikes. Like I said, it's a buzzsaw versus a chainsaw. Akane Yamamoto has some of the hardest kicks in this division. She's 
a former women's champion in her own right. Manami Toyota beat her for the title. So Akane Yamamoto looking to beat the legendary Miss Fear. Akane won't even let Miss Fear get up. And Akane Yamamoto with the bow and arrow stretch. What I said, that technical style. But this is where Miss Fear's dangerous to power. Another kick to the back. Miss Fear now imposing her size, just kicking Akane around now. Miss Fear, no stranger to kicks. Kana Yamamoto delivers another super kick. And it's right back now. Kana Yamamoto starting to hammer away at Miss Fear. Those mounted punches, MMA style. Kana Yamamoto will break you down, will chop the tree that is Miss Fear down. She's beaten Miss Fear before. Kane with that beautiful back jumping elbow followed by the spin kick. Miss Fear's got to watch it. There's a kick. All right. Headlock takeover. Fear doesn't care. This is look at this. Wait, what is she doing? Oh my god. She knocked out the ref. Dirty tactics. This fear got frustrated, and that's not the way you deal with it. Disqualified, Akana Yamamoto wins the match, but Miss Fear remains champion. And I guarantee you, this 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 is not over. This is far from over. This is just the beginning. I'm sure the next time they meet, Akame Omoto will be looking for revenge against Miss Fear. Yo, look who's on the face of the card, am I? Mm. Surprising. Not really, it seems to do that a lot. Look what the main event is, Emi, without me booking it. I don't see it. Hey, 
like this and shit. I didn't book that. I just it just did that itself. It really does not want you to get anywhere, does it? I can't catch a break. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was the Monday show. You know the Tuesday show is going to be a lot better. Or Wednesday show. Anything you want to say to close us out before we... Because got, we got that lovely ammunition main event that does it, that involves you and Minoru Suzuki again. Um, wear your mask, wear your gloves, stop Asian hate, and we'll see you all on the next one. Stay golden. Maybe Emi will turn... Maybe Emi will be golden. God damn it, stupid ass piece of shit.